How to solder copper silicone wire together. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Peter. I'm the host for the show and today we're going to be talking about how to solder silicone copper wire together. I have two pieces here. The red one is the silicone wire. The black is just automotive copper wire without the tinning. And I just wanted to show you uh, the difference in how soft it is. Just give me a little demonstration here. You can just tell by looking at the black ground, it's just, uh, it looks more firm and rigid, right? Because it, it has its shape. So that's really the point I'm trying to get across here. Now, when I first started this hobby, and uh, you see how rigid that is. When I first started this hobby and I understood that I needed to use silicone wire, uh, I was a little bit, I never heard of it before. I just thought maybe there's something extra special about it. The silicone wire just refers to the outer sheathing of the wire in that it's able to withstand higher temperatures so that it doesn't melt, usually around 200 degrees Celsius. Another big difference is that silicone wire usually comes pre-tinned and that's why you have the silver color. But be careful, oh, you know, sometimes it could be aluminum, right? But usually most cases it's just tin copper. So if it doesn't look copper color, don't be alarmed. can actually hear the difference and there's more strands too but that's not necessarily a factor or a quality that differentiates the two now why is it softer well the silicone wire is softer because it's been through a process called annealing Now, annealing copper is a term used in metallurgy for the heating of a material, generally metal, and then cooling it to change its properties, such as hardness and durability. Annealing copper makes it softer and less brittle and allows it to bend without breaking. And the tinning of the wire actually makes it uh, resistant to corrosion as well and that's that's why we, we like to use that for our builds all right now we're going to actually solder the silicone wires together so these are both silicone wires So what you want to do is kind of mesh them in together like that. I'm trying to get the, the strands as neat as possible. Sorry about the background noise. I live right downtown, so there's plenty of action. So then once it's all from end to end, you can, uh, this is rather not so neat, but apologize. There's a little strand sticking out there, just tuck them in after and you should get something like that. Now the next step is completely optional. What I do is I reinforce it with some copper wire make sure I, I use copper wire that's not enameled it's important but if you do have enameled wire and that's the only wire you have you can easily well not so easily remove it but I'm deciding to wrap this whole connection here uh, with some uh, with some copper wire and then I'm going to solder it Here. And I have a damn 
sponge for that. It needs to get a little hotter too. You know, hear that? That's way too much water. It's coming from the sponge. So, but let's try it. Just a little bit on the tip. Start the heat transfer. Now, because it is thicker wire, I'm going to have to be doing this for a bit. Just feeding it from underneath, just until it gets hot enough. Don't be afraid to use flux, extra flux, uh, even though you might have flux in the core of your solder, because you may need it. Just keep that in mind. And also, you want to make sure that you're using rosin core solder and flux. Please don't use acid core, uh, the stuff that plumbers use, because it's, it's going to wreck your wires. And also have good ventilation when you're soldering as the fumes are toxic. So you don't want to be breathing that stuff in for sure. Now my soldering iron right now is pretty much maxed out. Uh, the dial goes to 800 degrees. It's a 60 watt AIU. I, I can't even pronounce it. AU, IU. I apologize. And uh, it's a great soldering kit. Iron, sorry. Bring the tip to the top. So it brings the solder from the bottom. extra copper but just the way I did it. So there you go. Now I'm just gonna clean the joint with some isopropyl alcohol, 99% concentration. Try and get the highest as possible. And now we're just gonna put some heat shrink on that and we're pretty much done. Okay, and that's how you solder wire together. If you found this video useful, please give it a like or a share. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and have a good day.